Yes, there are certain essentials that you need in the fall, but there are also things that you could wear outside of the essentials that could still make you dress better in the fall. And today, that's exactly what I'm going to be going over the five best things that you should be wearing in the fall. But if this is our first time meeting, my name is Aaron Ramirez in this channel. I simplify men's fashion. So if you want to learn more about that, make sure to subscribe. But without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the list. So the first thing that I could tell you that you need to start wearing in the fall are going to be beanies. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm a huge fan of hats. I have way too many hats, but sometimes it is a little too cold for a hat and that's exactly when you're going to need something like a beanie now for me I personally wear beanies over hats when it's really windy outside and I do not want my hat to blow off my head or another thing when it's extremely cold outside and it's really windy my ears tend to get really cold I don't know if that's because my ears are really big or if that's just a normal thing but an easy way to avoid that is instead of wearing a hat you could wear something like a beanie now the beanie that I have is from polo I got it in the color black because of course black goes with anything but there are plenty of different beanies that you can choose from whether you choose a different brand whether you choose a different color now when it comes to beanies since I only have one like I said I got it in the color black but if you want to build a collection of beanies so that way you can wear it with a bunch of different outfits I definitely recommend starting off with the colors black gray I've seen some dark burgundy ones look really good in the fall so that's definitely a good place to start those are more earth tones and if you don't know earth tones look so good in the fall so I definitely recommend starting there anyways the next thing that you should be wearing is kind of more of a combo and that is going to be some gray hoodies with some gray shoes now gray is definitely really popular in the fall and most people like to hype up gray sweatpants but I personally am a way bigger fan of gray hoodies and gray shoes especially when they're combined together I think this is something so simple to wear yet it looks so good and if you don't know where to pick up these items I definitely recommend today's video sponsor New Balance now as far as the shoes goes I picked up the New Balance 574s which has always been a popular shoe but this is my first time actually having it and ever since I got it I fell in love with them I have been wearing them so much because they're so comfortable and they look so good especially combined with a gray hoodie from New Balance whether it be a normal gray hoodie or maybe a zip up gray hoodie either way it looks so good together now especially in the fall I'm always trying to stay as comfortable as possible whether it be the actual clothes keeping me comfortable or just keeping me warm from the colder seasons either way this combo does both of that so I definitely recommend trying them out especially the gray zip down hoodie that I have been wearing from New Balance this is something that I wear quite often like I said it's something comfortable it's very versatile so you could pair it with pretty much anything that you want I personally like to wear it by itself, but you could definitely do something like layering it if it is a little bit colder outside. But this combo is pretty much the main thing that I'm wearing from New Balance, but don't let that fool you because, because there are plenty of other things that you could wear from New Balance. If you're not a huge fan of the gray hoodies, or maybe you just want a different color, I have the colors navy and I have the colors black. All three of these are going to be earth tones, like I mentioned earlier. Earth tones look really good in the fall, especially if it's something like hoodies, athletic shoes, stuff like that that are really comfortable. Like I said, I can't recommend them enough, and if you haven't tried them already, make sure to click the first link in the description, so that way you can pick them up for yourself and see exactly what I'm talking about. The next thing that I recommend wearing in the fall is going to be some chino pants. Now, most people end up wearing denim in the fall, which don't get me wrong, that looks really good, and that is a huge essential for the fall. But like I said, today's video is going to be outside of the essentials. It's going to be things that you could wear on top of the essentials so that way you still look good in the fall and chino pants are going to be exactly that especially if you're a younger guy most guys for some reason don't like to wear chino pants but this is something that I have been wearing since I was probably around like 16 so I was still in high school and nearly every single time I threw on a pair of chinos I would always get compliments now the main reason why I like chinos opposed to actual denim is because this is something that you could dress up a little bit more without looking like you're trying too hard so especially if you're in an environment where you're trying to be taking a little bit more serious I know a lot of people will look at younger guys and not take them seriously serious because of the way that they're dressed but chino pants is an easy way to fix that now the ones that I have are from Hollister I got them in navy blue again it's an earth tone I really love earth tones in the fall but you can wear this casual and you can wear it dressed up like I mentioned earlier so if I'm trying to dress it up I'll wear something like boots with them or if I'm trying to dress them more casual I'll wear something like some converse either way it just depends on which aesthetic I'm going for and whatever environment that I'm in but you can get these for pretty cheap like I said mine are from Hollister's I bought them on sale for around $25 but there are plenty of other places that sell some chino pants like I said, since I like to dress them a little bit up, I definitely recommend them in more of a slimmer fit. But that is pretty much all preference and it's entirely up to you. As long as you have a pair of chino pants that you can wear throughout the fall, you will be okay. Anyways, the next thing that I definitely recommend wearing in the fall is going to be some corduroy. Now, corduroy is definitely such an underrated material that not a lot of other guys are wearing, but it's something that looks so good. So, for example, the main piece that I'm talking about when I talk about corduroy is going to be my corduroy Sherpa jacket. This one I picked up from Nordstrom is a little bit too expensive, but it was definitely worth the price. Because this is something that looks so good, it's going to keep me warm, especially in the colder days. Because some days it'll just be way too cold outside and I need a really thick jacket. And this is exactly 
exactly the type of jacket that I would wear on a day like that. But if it's not as cold outside, that's really fine because I have another piece of corduroy butt in the color black. This one I picked up from Forever 21. It's way lighter than the other one. So like I said, if it's a little bit warmer outside, I can throw on something like this and I'll be fine. Either way, since it's corduroy, it looks good. Not a lot of other people are wearing it, so it'll make you stand out. And there are plenty of places to pick up some corduroy items. Anyways, the next thing that you could wear to instantly upgrade your style in the fall is going to be some leather pieces. Now when I'm talking about leather, I definitely do not mean leather pants because that is something that I've never liked. Leather jackets are pretty cool. I've actually never had a real leather jacket, but maybe that's something that I'll pick up in the future. Me personally, when I talk about leather, I talk about either leather shoes, leather boots, or even some leather accessories. For example, my leather backpack is probably one of my favorite pieces that I have been wearing. Now, obviously, when I mean I have been wearing this a lot, it's because I'm forced to because I carry a backpack to school. But just in general, backpacks are an accessory that can upgrade your outfit. And since I have a leather backpack, I think it can upgrade any outfit that I wear to school. Another leather accessory that looks really good are going to be some leather band watches. A leather wallet won't necessarily upgrade your outfit, but it definitely can help you look a little bit more mature because again, most younger guys are going to have a wallet that maybe it's really old and it kind of has a weird material to it. I know a lot of older guys will look at a wallet like that and they'll think that, you know, it's fine because they're a kid. But if you have something like a leather wallet, it could definitely help you step aside from other people your age and help make you look that much more mature. But as long as you have anything leather in your outfit, it could definitely help you look better in the fall. But those are the five things that I'm going to be wearing all throughout the fall to help me look better aside from all the essentials because of course you need all the other things like you need denim jackets, denim jeans, you need flannels, all that stuff. That's really important as well. But if you want to look that much more better in the fall, I definitely recommend sticking to the five things that I just mentioned. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, I definitely recommend that you do so because in this channel, I simplify men's fashion, I try to make it as easy as possible. So make sure to do that. I'll leave a button for you to do that right here. And if you want to see more videos right away, here are a few that I think could really help you out. Anyways, other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Later.